Hello everybody and welcome back to W2K14 Universe, I'm your host Church and you are watching NXT. off we have Dusty Rhodes coming on out to the ring set to face off against Bruno Sammartino here tonight two superstars from NXT that I don't think I've gotten a whole lot of exposure just yet so I'm very interested in seeing how this one goes down but uh, everybody loves Dusty Rhodes well wow. Dusty Rhodes set to go one-on-one -on -one with Bruno Sammartino. Two people that I think could definitely benefit from a little bit of exposure here on NXT. I feel like I literally just said this. I have a tendency to repeat myself. I have found... I believe this is, if you could believe it. Uh, Bruno Sammartino, I think, second match ever in this universe. His first was, of course, on the debut episode of NXT where he lost to Seth Rollins in the NXT Championship Tournament. And, uh, well, I guess he's had a lot of time to regroup since then. We'll see if perhaps Sammartino is ready for the American Dream. This week's episode of NXT is absolutely filled with young and upcoming stars like Dusty Rhodes and Bruno Sammartino and, uh, and, um, oh god, who else is there? There's someone else that's just very, very young and new. We've got Sergeant Slaughter, another fresh talent, uh, and in our main event, of course, uh, young superstars King Kong Bundy and the NXT champion Andre the Giant. There's a few few uh, old timers on this show as well, Fandango, uh, and the NXT Tag Team Champions David Otunga and Justin Gabriel. A little bit of something for everyone here on NXT. The quick kick. <laughs> Another good one. What a weird way to call that. He's doing back inside the ring. What kind of uh, rough and tough style do you think we'll see from these two men in this match then? Uh, please answer your screen now. <laughs> Bruno Sammartino with a big back body drop. I must have actually, now that I think about it, I think there's like practically no young talent, like genuinely speaking, like unironically speaking when it comes to like, you know, how old these people would be. Uh, I don't actually think there's any what kind of younger people really on NXT at this point are there? There's, well, there's Fandango, there's Biggie Langston, uh, New Millennia, uh, the Nexus. I think it's kind of 50-50 actually now that I think about it. I think I'm, I think I'm not giving it enough credit on one side over the other. Because, um, yeah, for a moment there, I started to think that maybe, uh, maybe it wasn't, it was, it was becoming quite an old folk show. <laughs> well, well, I mean, with a shield leave, and that was, that was three of the kind of younger superstars out the window. But, uh, I mean, you know, it will go through phases. It won't always be like this. It's just that 2K14 mostly added, uh, legends to the game. It didn't really add a lot of people that weren't already in 13. Maybe I should have left the shield on XD for a bit longer, but I think that they just didn't need an XD. Can't wait to find out who will be in our next Earn Your Spot match. Obviously, we are still to await the uh, NXT debut of Jake Roberts. Maybe he can finally turn his luck around down here. One punch after another. Dusty Rhodes, boom, right in the chest. You gotta love Dusty Rhodes. Of course, the Pride Line players are also here on NXT. <clears throat> Maybe it's just the fact that there's so many of the older superstars being featured on this episode <coughs> that I'm forgetting that. And a big bionic elbow to the head of 
Uh, Bruno San Martino. I don't know what the hell I went to call him there. And oh, that was almost it. Got to say, Dusty has uh, really, really held his own against Bruno very strongly here. I haven't actually really seen too much from Bruno in this match at all. If I'm being completely honest. Bruno pulled away from the ropes. Dusty now going into the cover. And another kick out. And Dusty. DDT. A Dusty DDT, if you will. Dusty Rhodes really in control of Bruno San Martino right now. Pin attempt and a quick kick out. Of course, the next earn your spot for NXT will be uh, just before Money in the Bank. And Bruno San Martino just kicking down Dusty Rhodes. A little bit vicious here. Bruno's really not been off to a hot start, not in just this match, but in NXT in general. So as I said, only his second opportunity here. Bruno now. Oh my god. Oh, what a unique submission hold. I don't think I've ever seen him do this before. Because I've never watched a Bruno San Martino match. Dusty Rhodes being just stretched out over the back of Bruno. That is an incredible feat of strength in Bruno. Dusty, quite a big boy. But he's still in this one. Another elbow there. Another dynamic elbow. Many, many, the dynamic elbows of Dusty Rhodes are, of course, a com common trait in this man's offense. We needed the midsection there by Bruno. And now Dusty rolling up Bruno San Martino. Is he going to be able to steal a victory here? Ooh, almost. You know, I'd love to see Dusty leave NXT and head to Raw just so that he could team with his son, Cody, for a little bit. I feel like that'd be really cool. Arm submission here. Bruno just kind of rolled over there. A lot of people feel we are almost guaranteed new NXT Tag Team Champions here tonight. Andre the Giant, an absolutely indestructible force, and his tag team partner, King Kong Bundy. The Heenan family are set to challenge the Nexus for the NXT Tag Team Championship. And this comes after the Heenan family defeated the Nexus two on three last week. So uh, it's going to be a very hard uphill struggle for the Nexus that I would imagine. Cover attempt and oh, almost. Bruno San Martino now hooking up the arm of Dusty Rhodes. We're going to see a forced submission here. Dusty struggling. Bruno gone for the arms quite a few times in this match. Interesting choice. I guess maybe trying to prevent those elbows from coming in quite as hard. Again, stomping down on the arm. Really fixated on doing in the arms of Dusty Rhodes. Stomps on it again. I guess when you're using... Uh, obviously, I guess that was his finishing move. That, that stretch across the back that he had on Dusty Rhodes earlier. I guess that would really wear down on the arms as well. And perhaps he's trying to see if he can weaken him and force him into a submission later on. Belly to belly by Dusty. Dusty into a cover. Is this going to be enough to put away Bruno? No. Side suplex takes down Dusty Rhodes. Bruno and Dusty back and forth. Back body drop. It feels like Bruno has really bounced back into this match. Is Dusty Rhodes knocked out from that big right hand across the chest? Yes. Well... An unfortunate loss for Dusty Rhodes, the first ever winner of an Earn Your Spot qualifier, and unfortunately the only loser of the Earn Your Spot match so far. And another tough loss for Dusty Rhodes here tonight. He continues to lose momentum down here on NXT. And Bruno San Martino seeming emotional over his first ever victory since debuting in this season. I mean, this was only his second ever match. Give yourself some credit. And Bruno is victorious. He has done it. He has won it. Will he be able to keep that momentum rolling? Only time will tell. But up next, we have uh, young superstar Fandango set to face off against the old-timer Sergeant Slaughter. Well, here he comes. He's a hero to some. Not me.
Sergeant Slaughter recently formed a tag team with Big John Stud, but tonight he is focusing on his singles career. Sergeant Slaughter says that the goal has never changed. He is very much intending to rule NXT as the NXT champion. I would love to see this man try to beat Andre the Giant. We've been told that Andre must defend the NXT championship next week. Unfortunately, you know, Andre wasn't intending on not defending his championship a couple weeks ago against Big E Langston, but he's passed quite a lot of days as NXT champion without any defenses so far. And so because of that, we've been told that he is now expected to defend that very, very soon. So Andre will be defending the NXT Championship next week. There's been no word on who that will be against. And here we go. Summer Rae. Notable diva. I don't think she's actually made a Raw debut yet, but she's been very uh, successful over on Superstars. I think she has one of the best track records this season, actually. But, uh... She is, of course, also the dancing partner of Fandango, and uh, I do wonder how long Fandango will be spending on NXT while she's over on the, the Raw roster. I think Fandango has shown a lot of promise so far in his career. This is someone that I think uh, very freshly got his feet off the ground in a, in a good way, and I, I, I like what we've seen so far of him. But I think he just continues to impress down here on NXT, and... Uh, he, he's kind of playing his cards right, you know, he's taking his time. A little bit like the Shield uh, over on uh, Superstar since leaving NXT. Very slowly, this man working his way up the ranks. And I think uh, in due time, this man will have some major single success. Whether or not this is the kind of guy that could beat Andre the Giant, well, I have my serious doubt. I don't honestly know who could beat Andre the Giant, when I'm being completely honest. I mean, the man has only ever lost, I believe, one match. It was a tag match. I don't, I, I believe this, one of the members of the Shield actually pinned Andre the Giant. I think maybe Seth Rollins, I think? Uh, obviously, they ended up leaving NXT, so they, we never saw an NXT Championship match take place between the two. Uh, Andre, the first NXT Champion, someone that I think a lot of people bear in mind as time goes on, and that will include this man, Fandango. It's got to be in the back of his mind as he faces Sergeant Slaughter tonight. Yes, yeah, so far there has been no word from NXT management on who will be challenging Andre the Giant for the NXT Championship next week, just that it will not be a member of the Nexus, regardless of whether they defend the Championship successful tonight or not. Uh, someone else will be given an opportunity, a fresh superstar, be given an opportunity. If I had to put my best foot forward on who I think is uh, probably most fitting for an opportunity at the NXT Championship right now, well, obviously I'd say Big E Langston, the rightful number one contender to the NXT Championship. I would love to see him get that opportunity at long last, but obviously he's currently uh, still not clear to compete after his three-on-one beatdown at the hands of the Nexus a few weeks back. So uh, I would have to say... Truthfully, oh, there's obviously Sergeant Slaughter, not a big fan of that. I think, honestly, looking at the NXT roster and uh, who I know is on here from the top of my head, uh, you're either going to go for one of the guys that recently dropped down from NXT, which would, of course, be, I mean, from uh, Raw, which would, of course, be either the Nexus or Jake Roberts. Perhaps Roberts could get a huge opportunity next week in the main event. I mean, he's a former Raw superstar. Uh, that does put him, <coughs> rankings-wise, that does put him above everybody else by default. Otherwise, I'd say maybe a uh, front runner for me would be Ric Flair off the top of my head if I had to think of someone that would be a good challenger for Andre the Giant. I don't really know how they plan on deciding that next week, but uh, I'm sure by next week we will know who the challenger will be. I tend to announce the upcoming matches for the following week uh, on that week's episode of Superstars. So uh, I guess tune in this Saturday on Superstars if you want to hear who will be challenging for the NXT Championship next week. But obviously... Andre the Giant could be walking into uh, next week's title, def ch title? title defense with both of the NXT Championships, the NXT and NXT Tag Team Championship as well. Sarge. 
Well, he's giving it his all against Fandango here, but this young, fast superstar that Fandango is, he's a little too much for Sergeant Slaughter, honestly. Dazzling rolling elbow there, but Sergeant Slaughter shut that one down. Poke to the eyes there. Oh, nice reversal by Fandango. Ooh, never mind. Back body drop. Sent him flat down. Crazy to think quite a lot of the NXT roster are in tag teams, as a matter of fact. I mean, there's like, what, 18 superstars in this roster. You got the tag team champions, the Nexus. That's three superstars right there. You got the Heenan family. That's another two. Uh, New Millennia, that's another two. Slaughter and Big John Stud, that's another two. And uh, DiBiase and Virgil, I believe that brings up to a total of about 11 of the 18 superstars are in tag teams. And one of those superstars that's not in a tag team is the ever-impressive Fandango. I don't really feel like this is the kind of guy who sees eye to eye with too many people, though. What did I get that signature for? Fandango going up to the top and Sergeant Slaughter with a reversal, but Fandango in control still drop kick. Brilliantly executed by Fandango as he goes up to the top here and a leg drop. Oh, that was a very poorly executed leg drop there by Fandango. I don't think he got nearly the distance he was expecting, but that is why this man is here on NXT. He is a newcomer. He is still finding himself very much. And reverses, I believe that was going to be an attempt at, attempt at the Cobra Clutch. And here comes the last dance by Fandango. Cover attempt on Sergeant Slaughter. And that's a victory for Fandango. Very decisive finish. You know, he went for that top rope leg drop. I respect the effort that was put in by Fandango to attempt that move. I don't think he quite had the distance he was intending on, but... You know, I think uh, that was a good attempt by Fandango, and in the end, he managed to turn it around. And I believe he's got something important to say. And don't you forget it. Fandango continues to pick up momentum here on NXT. I mean, this could be the guy that challenges Andre for the NXT Championship next week. I think his momentum, his win-loss record is pretty solid. Only time will tell though, as we move on to our main event. Andre the Giant teaming up with King Kong Bundy to challenge Justin Gabriel and David Otunga for the NXT Tag Team Championships. What a banger. We've been told that Wade Barrett was not allowed to be here at ringside for this match, nor was Bobby Heenan. They want a straightforward two-on-two -two tag team match here tonight, and that is exactly what we are getting. No Barrett here. These two could have at least bothered to match with tires. Come on now. And here he comes first. When you hear that music hit, you know you're in for a monster of a man. Well, this is going to be a very interesting one. King Kong Bundy. I mean, you know, the thing I want to remind you all is uh, you may be looking at this saying the Nexus don't stand a chance. This one's as good as done already. We already know who's going to win this and so on. I do want to remind you that uh, the last time David Otunga and King... Well, okay, maybe not the last time. There was an occasion where David Otunga and King Kong Bundy squared off and Otunga defeated King Kong Bundy. That single hand choke slam of his able to slam that 400 pound walking condominium as they call him, King Kong Bundy. David Otunga is an incredibly strong superstar 
and he has really benefited from coming down here to NXT. And I need to remind you again, Justin Gabriel was at one point a contender for the WWE Championship. It is fascinating to me to see this man here share a ring with someone the size and stature of Justin Gabriel. Two complete polar opposites. You've got to think there is wit, there is speed, there is something that Justin Gabriel has there as an advantage over the NXT champion. Can he lift Andre the Giant? Not a chance in hell. But this man can get Andre on the mat. If he uses his aerial offense and his speed effectively enough, I actually think Otunga and Gabriel, they do stand a chance of retaining those NXT Tag Team Championships tonight. I think it's a very, very far stretch. I think it's going to be a really difficult challenge and uphill struggle, no doubt about it. But I do think it's possible. Man, that guy always means business. He is yet to defend the... Big high five and solidarity there. The Nexus looking very confident. Don't know why, but uh, it decided to do exactly what happened at No Way Out. And that is uh, not uh, kicked in the midsection there by David Otunga. Otunga with a quick belly to belly. Really showing off his strength there against King Kong Bundy. It's going to take a lot more than that to put Bundy away, but I do respect David Otunga's resolve there because you know what he also did with that belly to belly? That is, he put a, a, a Bundy very effectively in the corner of the Nexus right from the get go. Yeah, just like at No Way Out with the NXT tag title match. Uh, for some reason, it just didn't do the title introduction bit, like where they raised belts. I don't know why. Elbow drop there by Justin Gabriel. And they have, they have started off hot here. The NXT Tag Team Champions are doing exactly what they need to be doing. I mean, that's that's got to be scary. The fact that he just connected with uh, Bundy and it didn't phase him. But there's the 450 splash straight in the Nexus's corner. Pin attempt here on Bundy. Gabriel is wasting no time at all. Almost. And you notice Andre did not make any effort to come over and help his partner. He was confident that King Kong Bundy would kick out of that one, and he did. Oh, wait, 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 I don't understand what is. They were Tonga just attacked Bundy. Oh, I believe Andre, okay, let's roll that back. Andre the Giant just attacked Bundy. What the hell? Why? Why in the world would Andre do that? Did the Nexus pay him off? This, is unreal, King. this was supposed to be a huge tag team main event, an opportunity for Andre the Giant to become tag team champion and NXT champion at the same time. And we just watched the guy turn his back on King Kong Bundy when it mattered most. Why in the world would Andre the Giant pass up this opportunity to be just the supreme ruler of NXT? I am so confused. I was very, for a moment I thought David Otunga turned on Gabriel and I was like, for fuck's sake, can we not? Can we just not? <laughs> but actually, Andre the Giant turning his back on Bundy, that is an interesting outcome. Bundy, what are you doing? What in the world are you doing? Oh! Well, Bundy is getting dominated here. <laughs> Absolutely manhandled. He's trying to fight back, and he's—I mean—he's getting it. Can't control Otunga. That's really weird. 
Big takedown there by David Otunga. Cover attempt here on Bundy. I mean, I guess Gabriel can relax knowing Andre the Giant isn't here. I, I'm so confused as to why Andre the Giant would turn his back on King Kong Bundy. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I guess he maybe felt he didn't need this. I mean, I guess he'd be right. Justin Gabriel heading up top for a second 450 splash. And I think this one might already be over. I mean, that huge strike from Andre certainly did a number on King Kong Bundy. And this was just two on one beat down there. And somehow, some way, these guys found a way. I don't know if that was pure luck. I don't know if they tipped Andre off to do that. I don't know if Andre has been aligned with the Nexus the whole time. I have no idea what to make of this outcome. But for some reason, the NXT champion, Andre the Giant, just stabbed King Kong Bundy in the back and passed up almost a guaranteed NXT tag title victory tonight. They beat the Nexus 2 on 3 last week. You would have thought for sure that Andre would have been happy to have done it again here tonight and won the titles, but the Nexus are very thrilled with this outcome, and I guess perhaps we've found out who will be challenging Andre for the NXT Championship next week after all. Maybe Bundy can get revenge on Andre. I don't know. Either way, this is not the way I thought NXT was going to close out, especially not such a short-lived main event, but Bundy never stood a chance with everything that played out in this match right from the beginning. And uh, I guess with that being said, I will see you guys uh, next week on NXT when Andre the Giant defends the NXT Championship for the first time. What an episode.